In 2014, the artists and writers at DC gave us a map and explanation of just how the new DC multiverse works. So let's check it out. Here in the psychedelic rainbow sphere is all of the multiverse, with both its physical and metaphysical dimensions. In this multiverse there are 52 known alternate Earths, numbered 0 to 51, that can be found in this red sphere called the Ori of Worlds. Now all these worlds are alternate versions of Earth, and inhabit the same space. But the inhabitants of these worlds can't see one another, as these Earths vibrate at different frequencies. To explain, think of how you have all these channels on your television, but you can only view one channel at a time. You know that there are other channels, but because you're on the frequency for one, you can't see the picture of the others. That is, until you change the channel. It's not a perfect metaphor, but hopefully it gets the idea across. So what worlds are in the multiverse? Well, that's a big question, which we will answer in full in a later video, completely exploring the Ori of Worlds. But for now, let's highlight a few of the most important ones that you should know. As I said before, Earth Zero, or New Earth, is the Earth DC Comics is currently following. It is home to all your faves. Batman, The Flash, Wonder Woman, and all the DC superstars. Earth 2 shakes things up a bit, having killed off the original Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, and having a new group of superheroes who have taken up the call for justice. Earth 3, like the one introduced during the Silver Age, houses the evil crime syndicate, complete with Ultraman, Superwoman, Owlman, Power Ring, and Johnny Quick. While Earth 11 boosts the girl power, by switching the genders of the originally male-dominated DC lineup. There are tons of other interesting and strange Earths to be found within the Ori of Worlds, but the last one we want to highlight is World 33. On the opposite end of the Ori from Earth Zero, Earth 33 is actually the world that we inhabit. That's right, you heard right. We are part of the DC multiverse. Though supposedly we too have a superhero, simply known as Ultra, who is a creation of ink and imagination. Every single reader of DC Comics helps power him, slash is him. It's kind of hard to explain, as it is meta as all get out. But, as you can see, a strange white barrier surrounds our world, which blocks us from knowing about the other Earths. That is, except through the reading of DC Comics. Earth Zero also has a strange but different halo around it, but at this time we are unsure as to what this means. The space in between these different Earths is called the Bleed, described as a hyperdimensional fluid medium that allows for transportation between realities, or for quick transportation within a single reality. The Bleed can only be navigated by the right equipment, like one of the Monitor's interdimensional carrier crafts. At the center of the bleed is the Rock of Eternity, made up of two separate rock formations, one from heaven and one from hell, this layer that was built to hold the draconic demon, known as the Three Faces of Evil, is home to the wizard Shazam, who bestowed Billy Baston with the power to transform him into Captain Marvel. Further in is the House of Heroes, a pan-dimensional satellite outside of normal time and space, which acts as a fixed point base of operations, where the monitors can send out teams of heroes out into the bleed to help with whatever crisis has arisen. However, it should be noted that the monitors don't live here, but in the monitor sphere, which we will get to a little later in this video. On the edge of the bleed is Wonder World, the world quarters of the long lost theocracy, a team of big ass, gigantic primal superheroes, including Adam One and the blue speedster known as the Glimmer, just to name a couple. Surrounding the bleed is the Speed Force Wall, also known as the Speed of Light. Here is where the Flash gets his powers from, and it acts as a barrier between the physical realm of the Ori of Worlds and the metaphysical realm of the gods. Plugged into the Speed Force Wall is also the Frequencies of Quiz, a radio universe which is home to the hero Crackle the Defender who has more than just a passing resemblance to Sonic the Hedgehog. In our next section, we'll finish our tour of the multiverse map 
as we peel back the layers of the multiverse's metaphysical realms.